Hey guys, Sam from KCrusadersBlog.com. Welcome to today is a video. Today's video is once again another Avengers theme for you. I'm doing centerpieces for you. I am only going to be showing you how to make one centerpiece um, with the printables, but you will be provided with all the different characters of the Avengers theme. To get the printables, all you need to do is to click on the link in the description box below. It's just underneath this video and it will take you straight to my blog post where I provide you with all the characters. So the size of your printable is going to be a, a standard A4 as what we call it in Australia. Um, printing size piece of paper so I believe in America it's eight and a half by eleven inches okay and so what you, the tools and equipment you're going to be needing is obviously your printables you're going to be needing a pair of scissors you're going to be needing a wooden dowel like so you can get this from the hardware store they normally come in quite long pieces and you can just cut them okay your popsicle sticks okay and your plaque this here I get my husband to actually cut them for me it comes in a long piece and he just cuts it to a certain size for me he drills a hole to the same size as what my wooden dowel would um, would be okay I would also then go ahead and paint these I normally paint them depending on the theme of um, the party uh, either white or black um, or I would just keep it this I haven't done any other colors yet but I would just spray paint it or you can paint it whichever is easiest the other thing you would need is a hot glue gun because you would need to obviously stick it down um, the paper I use is a for my centerpieces are so normally a 100 GSM weight um, piece of paper and um, it is white cardstock once again, I'll link that down below and you can see all the tools and equipment and the examples that I use and the printer I use. I do have an A3 size printer, um, so I do get to print out quite big centerpieces. But in this case, most of you only have a standard printer, so we're just going to be using um, the printables for a standard home printer. Alrighty, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to cut out your printable. All right, so I have provided a, a little dash or dotted line across, sorry, around your actual image, which makes it a little bit easier for you to cut out if you're wanting a white border around it. Of course, if you don't want a white border around it, then you can cut just along the actual image itself. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut that. once you have cut out both your printables we're now going to do the gluing down so first thing I like to do is to grab my plaque and to check to see exactly how the image is going to be placed sorry how the image is actually going to be placed is it going to be like that because you don't want it to be right you don't want the dial to be sticking out over here it'll just look weird so you want to be hiding the dial as much as you can so I think my dial is going to go like, sorry about there. So if I pop that in there like that, okay, and let's have a look and see. That's how I am going to do it, okay? And if you really wanted to, you can draw a line behind it so that you know that you have um, got the right angle. Alrighty. So like that and let's just turn it over and I'll give it a bit of a, all right, oopsie, okay, and just draw a line that way you know it's going to be the right. Alrighty, so I did end up doing a little line because it was a bit difficult to figure it out. So I just did myself a little line so I know exactly where I need to put in, put my glue my dial down. Okay, so we're going to grab our dowel 
Another thing you need to remember is how much is actually inside your doll. So if you lift that up, you can see that there's a feather that goes in. All right, so about that much. Once again, you can draw a little line if you wanted to, like so. So you know that that is, you know that that is how much needs to go at the bottom of your printable, like that. Okay, so we get our glue gun and we start gluing. Alrighty, once you've actually done that, you then start putting your popsicle sticks all the way around. Now there's no right or wrong way of um, where to put the sticks. I just like to make sure that it is sturdy and secure. So there is my centerpiece done and then we're just going to add in and the reverse the reverse side okay I like to place it on first like that match it up and then once it is matched up we can then start going down. And there we go. There is my centerpiece. It was so quick and easy. It took me like literally five minutes to do. All right, but I think the, the time consuming part is the cutting. But once it is all glued together, you have your centerpiece. There it is. So you would do the exact same thing for all the other characters. And yeah, you just get creative. I obviously didn't cut it properly over there, but that's all right. So yeah, just do the same thing. Like I say, there's no right or wrong way. The main thing is to make sure that it is pretty sturdy. And these, I think, will look amazing on your kids superhero um, party tables and yeah that's it guys so I do have a Facebook group that I would love for you guys to share your party printables with me how you did it and if you have any questions if um, I'm always interacting on my on my page and in my group sorry so please um, feel free to to join um, I'll link the group down below and yeah if I can't answer the question or if I'm not around to answer it there will always be someone else that will help out too because everyone's gets involved and helps each other and yeah I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the group hopefully otherwise please subscribe like share comment everything it means the world to me it means you guys are actually enjoying these videos and I'll keep making more and that's it thanks guys have a good night and I look forward to seeing you in the next video take care